Hi and welcome back to Functional Scala. Today we will cover partially applied functions in Scala. Scala, like many other functional languages, allows you to apply a function partially. What does that mean? This means that when applying the function, you do not have you do not have to pass values for all parameters defined by the function, but you pass only but you pass values only for some of the parameters, leaving the remaining ones blank. What you get back is a new function whose parameter list only contains parameters from the original function that were left blank. I will provide a couple of examples to explain the concept. I will start with a simple example. Let us define a method final bill calculator. The method will accept three parameters, service charge rate, VAT charge rate and net bill. The method will add service charge and VAT to net bill to produce the final bill. Now service charge for a shop and VAT for the country would always remain the same. We should not force shop to provide these details every time. So let us go ahead and fix the values of service charge and VAT using partially applied function. Here I will provide the values value of service charge as 12 and VAT as 20 while leaving net bill to be provided by the shop. Hence our function is partially applied. The function will calculate final bill when all the parameters are available. Notice how I have informed Scala that last parameter is going to be a double and needs to be provided. Let us try and provide few sample values of net bill to see partially fu applied function in action. And you can observe how our function has reduced from accepting three parameters to accepting one parameter. If you remember in our previous video, we have discussed placeholder syntax. Let us see an example of list again. I'll declare a sample list of integers. I will try and print all the elements of the list using for each. So instead of writing full expression, I will use placeholder syntax, which is short and concise. Whenever you see an underscore in this way, you are writing a partially applied function. Let us quickly move on to another example. We will try and develop a number guess game using partially applied functions. If a player is able to guess within a buffer range of the number, then we will declare our player as winner. We are going to ask player to guess a number between 0 and 100. I will first declare a val to generate random number. Next is to define validate guess method that will decide if the guess was within the range or not. If the guess is in between the range provided, then we are going to print a custom success message, else we'll inform player that he lost. In our first stage, the range is 25. We'll provide a bracket of plus or minus 25 from the number. If player's guess is plus or minus 25 from the number, then player is a winner and is eligible to go to next stage. In our second stage, we are going to reduce the bracket to 15. If a player's guess is plus or minus 15 from the number, then player is a winner and is eligible to go to next stage. In our third and final stage, the range is going to be 5. If a player's guess is plus or minus 5 from the number, then player is a winner. Otherwise, he lost the number. He lost the game. We'll show the number to the player that he was trying to guess. Let us load our game into Scala shell for a quick demo. So my first guess is going to be 30 and let me check if I get it or not. And I got a message that I should proceed to next stage, Ray. So my next guess is going to be 40 and let us check if I'm still in the game in the guess bracket or not. Indeed, I got another success. Let me check if I am third time lucky and 
my final guess is 60 and I lost it. The number I was supposed to guess was 44. Never mind, I'll definitely get it next time. Alright, so that was all about partially applied functions. This is indeed one of the important concepts of functional programming. The concept is pretty easy to understand and can help you create modular and concise code. I hope to see you next time to discuss a bit more Scala. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.